Hello, dear students, and welcome back to English for Palestine, Grade 12, Revision, Units 1 and 3. We completed revising Unit, unit 1, which was about the uh, present tenses, and in Part 2, we will continue with the past tenses. So, second, past tenses. And this is in Unit 3, pages 28 to 30. There are three past tenses. Number one, past simple. Number two, past continuous. And number three, the past perfect. Past tenses. The past simple tense used verb to, the second form of the verb. For example, so, walked, broke, bought, finished, etc. Let's read this example. I bought a new mobile phone yesterday. Yesterday is a keyword which is related to the past simple tense. Number two, past continuous. The form is using was or where plus the verb plus the ing form. I was sleeping at 9 p.m. yesterday. Finally here, the past perfect. When we form a sentence using the past perfect tense, we use have plus the past participle form. By yesterday evening, I had done all my homework. Let's see some uses of the past simple tense. One, to talk about a completed action in the past. Past, present here in the timeline. The action happened here and it is totally completed. Let's read this example. I watched a movie yesterday. Yesterday is a keyword which is related to the past simple tense. The action here is totally completed. So we use the verb in the past tense form. I didn't watch a play yesterday. This is a negative statement. When we form a negative statement using the past simple tense, we use didn't plus the verb in the infinitive form. I didn't watch a play yesterday. I didn't eat pizza yesterday. I didn't go to the museum yesterday, etc. Question here. How to form a yes-no question? We use the verb did plus the subject plus the verb or the main verb in the infinitive form. Did you have dinner last night? Did she watch a play yes yesterday? Etc. The second use of the past simple tense. To talk about a series of completed actions in the past. We have more than one action, they all completed in the past, so we use the past simple tense. Let's see this example. Yesterday, I finished work, walked to the beach, and found a nice place to swim. Three actions which are completed in the past. Here are some keywords which will be beneficial for you to memorize. For example, yesterday, ago, in the past, last, with week, year, month, in 2003, in 2020, sequence of tenses, and etc. Part two, past continuous tense. We use the past continuous tense to talk about one, an action that was taking place during another action in the past. And here we have long and short actions. Let's see here this example. One, when the phone rang, she was writing the letter. Here we have a short action and a long action. 
The short action is formed using the past simple tense and the long action is formed here using the past continuous tense. Number two, while we were having a picnic, it started to rain. While is followed with the long action, which is formed using the past continuous. Pay attention that the short action here interrupted the long action. The long action started, it was interrupted in some point with the short action, and then the long action continued uh, later. The second use here, a continuous action took place at a specific time in the past. Number one here, an example. Last night at 6 p.m., I was doing my homework. So, at this specific time, an action was happening. Last night at 6 p.m., I was doing my homework. And uh, sentence number two, all last night, all last night, we were driving through the desert. Um, here we have some keywords which are related to the past continuous tense, while, and it's followed with the long action, when is usually follow, followed with the short action in the past, at, with a specific time in the past, and so on. Number three now, past perfect tense. When we talk about a completed action took place before another action in the past. A completed action which took place before another action which also completed in the past. Examples. Number one. I had never seen such a beautiful beach before I went to Hawaii. Number two, I did not have any money because I had lost my wallet. Number three, it's a question. Had Susan ever studied Spanish before she moved to Spain? Some keywords which may help to form past perfect sentences. We have here by, last past time, by 2019, by last June, before and after, earlier, previously. He realized that, and after realized, we use the past perfect tense. I noticed that, and also we use the past perfect tense after these expressions and words. Now we will see some activities. Let's start with activity number one. Correct the mistakes. There is only one mistake in each sentence. Can you take a minute and try to do these sentences? Thank you. Let's check up your answers. Sentence number one. Sammy was playing tennis yesterday. Where is the mistake? Yeah, Sammy played tennis yesterday because it's a completed action in the past. And we have here yesterday a keyword which is related to past simple tense. Number two. How many books did you read so far? Let's see here, how many books have you read so far, which is related to the present perfect tense. Don't forget part one. Number three, he hurt his back while he worked in the garden. And the correct form of this sentence is, he hurt his back while he was working in the garden. Don't forget the keyword while is followed with the long action in the past, which means the past continuous tense.
Activity number two. Complete each of the following sentences with the correct tense of the verb in brackets. Here, we may use the present tenses or the past tenses. Okay, let's start with sentence number one. When I returned home, I realized that I, and the verb is forget, my keys. What's the correct answer here? I had forgotten. So, when I returned home, I realized that I had forgotten my keys. Sentence number two. Listen. Can you hear those people next door? They shout at each other again. Listen. Can you hear those people next door? They are shouting at each other again. Here we have the verb listen, which means something is happening. Present continuous tense. Sentence number three. As soon as the bell ring, they stop working. The correct answer here. As soon as the bell rang, they stopped working. Because two completed actions in the past. Sentence number four. While Sammy paint the door, he noticed a snake which had been in the store for a long time. While Sammy was painting the door, which is a long action in the past and this long action was interrupted by a short action, which is noticed. A short action, and it's here, uh, it's formed on the past simple tense. Sentence number five. Tamer read a book for two hours, and he read 53 pages so far. Tamer has been reading a book for two hours and he has read 53 pages so far. So far here represents the present perfect and four with a duration or a long time here represents the present perfect continuous. Sentence number six. The film wasn't very good. I not enjoy it very much yesterday. The film wasn't very good. I didn't enjoy. It's a negative action in the past. The key word here is yesterday. Sentence number seven. My brother's English get better quickly. My brother's English is getting better quickly. Sentence number eight. How long you learn English? How long have you been learning English? How long here represents present perfect continuous. Sentence number nine. I have my breakfast before I went to work. Here, an action which is completed before another action. The, the keyword is before here. So the correct answer is, I had had my breakfast before I went to work. Sentence number 10. What you think the reason for her, for her success is? What do you think the reason for her success is? And here, the verb think is a stative verb. So we use the present simple tense to form such question. Let's continue with this activity. Activity three, circle the correct answer. Sentence number one, Hadil passed the exam easily because she spent or had spent a long time studying. This sentence is talking about the past, about uh, past actions. So, 
She passed because of what? She had spent. Because she had spent a long time studying. Sentence number two. We must wake her up. She has been sleeping or have slept for 10 hours. Let's pay attention. The subject here is singular. So, we don't use have after singular subjects. And this action is still in continuity. It is still continuous. So, we use has been sleeping. She has been sleeping for 10 hours. Sentence number three. As soon as he had caught or caught sight of a policeman, he ran away. As soon as he caught. Cause two actions and those actions completed in the past. Number four. Do or have you ever spoken in public? The correct answer is, have you ever, ever spoken in public? Present perfect. Number five, Ali is having or has a shower now. Ali is having a shower now. He is doing something right. Retired yet. Sentence number six. My sister, who has been teaching English for 30 years, didn't retire or hasn't retired yet. We have the keyword yet, so hasn't retired yet. Sentence number seven. They usually cut or cut these branches in March. They is a plural subject, so we don't use is at the end of the verb. The correct answer, they usually cut these branches in March. Number eight, do or did you meet the president last week? We are asking about an action that happened in the past. So, did you meet the president last week? Past simple. Sentence number nine. Amal doesn't watch or didn't watch TV every day. Every day, which means routine, which means the present simple tense. So the correct answer is Amal doesn't watch TV every day. The last activity here. Correct the mistakes. There is one mistake in each sentence. Sentence number one, they watched a nice movie last night. They watched a nice movie last night. This is the key word. So we use the past simple tense. Number two, I noticed that the bananas I buy were going brown. I noticed that the bananas I had bought were going brown. Past perfect. Sentence number three. They decided to go for a walk while the sun shines. They decided to go for a walk while the, sh the sun was shining. So, while is followed with the past continuous tense. Sentence number four. Water is boiling at 100 Celsius. Water boils at 100 Celsius because it's a fact. Sentence number five. Who is that man? What has he worn? Who is that man? What does he want? That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.